if you have an existing VB application, um, you don't have the Redwood components and template in there by default. So when you create a new page, for example, it's going to look like this and you won't be having any of the Redwood components over here on the component palette. So if you want to add the Redwood component in there, one of the things you can do is basically create a new application with the Redwood starter application template. So you would be able to see the settings that are needed. Okay, so this is what we're doing here. We're creating a new application. And now if you switch to the source view of the application and you expand your web application, the first thing you would want to look at is the AppFlow.js file. And you notice that at the first row over here, we're importing a new uh, library. So let's copy this row here and we'll just keep it on the side for a second. So we'll just get in a new document here and paste this entry here. The other place where you want to look at things is a file for the dependencies of the application. So you can do a search at the top for dependencies, find the dependencies.json. If you go in here, you would see all the Redwood components are over here already defined. So let's copy the content of this file as well. And place it here. All right, now let's go back to the application we had before, the regular VB application, and basically paste those same things into our existing application. So into the AppFlow.js file, we're going to add the define uh, that calls our Redwood components, or as they're known here, Spectra components. Then we'll locate our dependencies file. And we'll just replace what we have here with the content from what we copied from the Redwood base application. All right, so that should be all that you need to do. Now, if you can go to one of the files you have, one of the pages, and um, you can actually see all the Redwood components in the component palette. And you can also click the select page template and you'll be able to select one of the existing template. This would also show up if you'll create a new page in your application. Now, one thing to note is that this application has been set with a top uh, section and a bottom section that are from the shell page. In the Redwood, we don't usually use those, so you might want to go into the Redwood, into the shell page, and remove those and any other things that mess up the overall page layout. So I'm just going to remove the header and footer sections, but there's also things in here in the shell page that control the sizing of the page for its, uh, for example, the margins. So you might want to adjust those as well. In any case, um, if we now go over to a page and uh, we'll switch a page to use, um, again, one of the Redwood templates, you would see that now uh, it's going to be looking a little bit more like real Redwood without the top and bottom cover. To remove the margins, remove the classes from the shell page.